Let's talk about makeup valve assemblies real quick. This is a condenser water makeup, a pressure relief, pressure regulator, your main makeup circuit, bypass valve, bypassing the regulator so if you need to quickly fill the loop, dump water, whatever you can. This is a uh, flow meter to where you can monitor your flow through the regulator. Most buildings nowadays have this, not all of them will though. Then you come over here to your uh, RPZ. It's a double check backflow preventer with a vent. The way this works is say on this particular loop, we wanted a 10 PSI setting. Uh, it was out of calibration when we got here. We did not have enough water in the loop. I used the bypass. I quickly got water to the loop and I filled it up to so just above where I wanted it to be. Uh, so it was about 12, 14 psi by accident. So I was able to use the relief, verify that it worked first of all, and it's still good, and it's not leaking after I used it. So that's what I want to verify is that this will fire and reseal without issue. If it didn't reseal, I'd want to replace it. Push this up, that relieves some pressure. Got my loop back down to about 8 psi, and then slowly turned this dial in uh, to increase pressure on the output side. So push it in to increase the output side, pull it out to decrease. Anyway, once I got over here to the meter, so this larger indicator is a very large increment this small one here it runs at very small uh, amounts so that small dial is the main one you're looking at in this particular scenario as soon as I saw that begin to turn I immediately stopped I let this equalize out on a gauge head on the pipe and that settled out to right at about 10 psi which is exactly what I want for this building this is the top floor anyway we were having some condensed water issues all that should be gone here now that is what a makeup valve assembly is what it looks like the components and how to use it and calibrate it